Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to brand new potential series here on the channel. This time we're taking a look at The Wandering Village, a game which I had my eye on for quite a while, but uh, yeah, I just did not have the time. So hopefully we're going to be able to have some fun. Now these are not going to be only just like the first episode, this is going to be also the first impressions because I haven't really played the game before and so uh, yeah I might end up killing everyone because I have no idea what we're getting into so let's jump into it I guess and have some fun. Uh, so Villagers elders show you the ropes of how to take care of your settlement recommended for first-time players You start in safe familiar territory take care of your village as you slowly venture into more dangerous regions Recommended for intermediate players and then there's the veteran now uh, I Should really go into like the newcomer because I have no idea what we're getting into and the concept or the story is that the people are gonna try to escape these poisonous spores which are spreading out and they somehow manage to end up on the back of this wandering creature and as the creature travels through different biomes different things might happen as the village keeps evolving so we're gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna probably have to jump into Novice in order to just learn the basic ropes of the game and uh, then I'll switch to the Adept and see how it goes. I also appreciate any tips in the comment section. Driven from our homes by the toxic spores, we kept wandering, looking for shelter. But not in our wildest dreams did we imagine what we would find. Okay, so the tutorial says that, hello friend, I'm the village elder in charge of good people here. There are people that the Neomans have traveled far and endured many hardships throughout the years. But now we have come across an Anbu, an ancient beast believed to have gone extinct centuries ago. Our encounter must have been faded. It has most likely been asleep in the ground for a very long time. Maybe it woke up because the toxin keeps seeping further and further into the earth. The poor thing seems exhausted and has gone back to sleep for now. I once read that Anbu draw their nutrients from the ground, so I wonder if I can sustain itself out here. Seems like we need to take care of each other from now on. My experience has brought our people here, but now it's time for you to take over and lead them to a better place. To ease the transition, I could teach you a little of what I've learned. Tutor you even a tutorial to say, what do you think? I think it's a great idea. Holy fudge, okay, this is a big, big thing. And it seems like it's gonna eventually venture out somewhere. And so, yeah, awesome. So it seems like we're gonna have to build some housing. Worker post, a tent, housing for up to two villagers improves productivity of inhabitants and offers slightly protection from poisonous air, used to manage workers, makes them specialize as transporters, harvesters, or builders. Workers in this building get small movement speed boost. Research enables researching new buildings and tech. Then we have material storage, a water tank, and pantry. Wow, what is up with all this water storage? It's like everywhere now. Uh, airwell automatically extracts water from the air, works better at higher humidity levels, no matter, no water is produced in deserts, collects berries from nearby berry bushes without damaging them, the more berry bushes surrounding the building, the more su effective this is. So I think one should be placed somewhere around here just due to the sheer volume of the berry bushes. I would like to get somehow all of them involved, but uh, it's just not gonna happen. The building does not seem to have that much of a range. Carpenter makes wood planks from wood. Stone cutter, that's pretty self-explanatory. I think this is the stone. These are like large boulders. I do wonder if these resources are gonna be somehow replenished. These seem like some massive, massive trunks. 
Uh, what the hell is this? Onbu spikes. Can be harvested, but reduces onbu trust. Huh. So it seems like we're gonna run into some potential... Uh, let's pause the game, I guess. It might actually affect uh, the game or how fast we're traveling just due to the sheer amount of resources that are on the back of this creature. But I'm guessing it's it's intentionally like we're going to come across some sort of potential, what you call it, uh, a bottleneck of resources or something, I don't know. Mycologist, plants and harvest mushrooms as ingredients for onbu food. Plots must be placed on dirt soil. So I'm guessing it's going to have to be somewhere around here in order for us to feed onbu. Then there's some additional stuff. Herbalist plants and harvest herbs from medical use plots must be placed on grass soil. So certain structures will only be able to be built on certain sections of the creature. Okay, so dirt road is the first thing and uh, we have 100 berries, 30 wood, 30 stone and 100 water. I do wonder how we're gonna do this i'm thinking uh the berry gathering should be done here efficiency 63 percent 58 49 63 yeah let's build it over here dirt road do you wonder how much of a control do we have over building this okay try to build some sort of basic layout or something i guess temple the storage i would think over here i do not know how can you like rotate these buildings potentially or do you like have to just build them in a specific way like they have to face in a one direction and that's that's it okay so do i need to keep holding shift or something yeah, I need to keep holding shift. Okay. A worker's post. The tutorial that appears here will teach you everything you need to know, but if you ever want to double check something or read about it in greater details, you can always consult the Elder's Notebook. Open it with the button in the top right corner of the screen or with G key. Okay, quite a lot of stuff. Uh, you can pause the game or speed it up. Okay. All done. Okay, so we have done this. Housing gives many benefits to your villagers. Return to village view and build tents for them by opening the building menu. So we're already building this stuff. Just hope we have not exhausted all of our resources. I'm gonna have to select some of these resources to be chopped down. Don't know if I have to do it individually, one by one. But let's try to select these few trees over here. Might be able to do the trick. Construct at least six tents. We have four. This is gonna get us to the required number. Like, probably getting to these large trunks would be optimal, but I'm guessing it's gonna require some sort of technology for us to even get to it. Anbu seems to be sleeping. Man, that's a cool name. So, we're already chopping down the trees. It seems like we're gonna have a dynamic day and night cycle, which seems awesome. We are, however, missing resources, and I keep hearing noises, so I keep checking on Anbu. Uh, it's like, what the hell is going on with him? Or her? I'm not sure if it's a guy or a girl. Uh, did we build the goddamn storage? Not enough wood, huh? 
Seems like immediately once the trees have been chopped down, they bring it over to the construction site. So I'm gonna mark a couple more trees over here. I'm guessing chopping down the trees which are not mature yet won't do us any uh, benefit. It even seems like these trees cannot be chopped down before you are literally done with them reaching full maturity. So, okay, I guess. We're still missing few pieces of wood in order to finish these two blueprints. We're gonna need to get into harvesting stone somehow as well. Plenty of resources at the start, at least. I do wonder how we're gonna be able to reacquire these once we like deplete the initial deposits. We have quite a lot of people. I actually don't see. Okay, so we have 16 people. We can put three people to the berry collection. I'm quite sure having some additional reserves of food would be beneficial. Um, I would like to build... Wow, the water tank is massive. Probably it would be smart to have it close to the storage of... Uh, or storage, uh, to the housing of our people. I'm not really sure if it's like communal that you just need to have the resources or if it's like specifically that the resources need to be accommodated uh, specifically and it's like in um, Banished or other games where if you build too many goddamn houses it, it's gonna like uh, be not good because uh, everyone is just gonna carry the resources into their own hut and then you don't have anything in the communal storage or something I'm not sure seriously it looks like the stone is replenishing itself or something or I'm not sure but the trees are even growing on like the edge of the dirt soil thingy so interesting but they don't really grow inside of here what the hell is this a mushroom doesn't yield anything yet adolescent mother tree okay interesting so we're seeing some weird stuff yeah like i assumed this thing cannot be harvested and this thing being harvested would actually hurt our relationship with ambu so let's not do that for now i do not know how much food production will i require for sustaining this many people right now construct at least eight tents wow again with the tents uh let's try to build like another segment over here this way we can have at least like uh, housing taken care of seems like even the dirt road needs to be constructed uh water seems to be 100 out of 100 so it seems like maybe everything has been carried over but holy crap okay so let's take a look we have wood we have planks we have stone we have stone slab we have herbs we have tree saplings we have sand glass iron ore iron ombu blood i'm not sure this is uh, gonna be good ombu bile okay Biogas, compost, mushrooms, ombu food, liquid ombu food, ombu energy booster, ombu painkiller, and ombu tra tranquilizer. Okay, interesting stuff. So it seems like taking care of this creature is gonna be a big part of everything. Uh, the eight tents are gonna be constructed. I feel like we're gonna have to just select a crap ton of trees to be chopped down. I don't really know how far should we go, however, when it comes to trying to, like, acquire these resources. 
and how much can we actually stockpile and if it's beneficial for me to literally go and just chop down every goddamn tree that i see on the face of uh, anbu or on the back of anbu because right now it feels like i'm clearing out its acne or something right uh, maybe i'm wrong who knows i'm weird like that okay we'll harvest at least 10 wood so we're working on it again Uh, prioritize any task. Okay, so we can prioritize the task. Nice. Construct a farm. Ooh, we do have access to something like a farm. So I'm guessing this thing will require a lot of space, probably, in order for it to be able to grow the food. This tree in here is literally pissing me off because it's kind of preventing me from doing whatever I need to do. Uh, berries seem to be still working quite well, but it's just uh, not even able to keep us at that 100 where we started off at. So I don't know f how much food do we seriously require for this many people. Still chopping down trees. We still have some resources that need harvesting. Can I like select more trees or seriously do i need to do this individually or am i just missing some sort of tech right now that would allow me to do this in a larger quantity okay i'm gonna have to wait for this goddamn tree to finish up uh so that i can put the farm over here so it's close to our housing and everything we have way too many goddamn idle people so let's harvest the resources uh, we're gonna need a lot of wood as is just for the construction of the farm and I feel like maybe uh, clearing out these small stone deposits is going to be beneficial for us as is. So it's going to at least keep the 16 or, well, in this case, 13 people uh, busy. And I do wonder if this thing can be now chopped. Still growing mother tree can already be harvested, but doesn't produce offspring yet. Okay, so... Probably waiting for that offspring and not the band would be maybe beneficial. Well, we will just uh, select a couple of things for harvest. I don't know if I have like a limit as to how much stuff can I select, but screw it. Let's give it a shot. Is Ambu waking up? Oh wow, Ambu has woken. So we're gonna start moving. I can't actually see from this distance what the people are doing. There's a bunch of these mother trees. I want to leave the Ambu pikes or whatever the hell am I supposed to call these things alone. Uh, we're starting to have some idle people. Which is not the best thing. It's not like I can research anything right now. Although I should be able to construct the research facility. I don't know if Ambu is on the move because Ambu is getting hungry. And if uh, by a certain point I'm supposed to have access to something that it will be able to require, acquire, or whatever. Uh, trying to make it somewhat symmetrical, but I cannot guarantee anything at this point. And I don't know if these things are more effective if they are placed in a specific location. It seems like it, it takes up almost the same spot as the housing tent, so there's that. Uh, a pantry stores all kinds of food for the villagers. Yeah, but if I build it like that, then they won't have access to it, so I will need to build it over here. And uh, let's build the dirt roads like so. I don't see anything for like decoration purpose and a uh, carpenter will require quite a lot of stuff. Although I don't think right now we have any sort of blueprint that would require access to that. So let's see if we can build the research facility and see if we will be able to start running some sort of research. I want to chop down this sucker so I can build the damn farm already. Okay, so this thing will be producing water. 
I don't know if it will require water for production of, let's say, or for maintenance or sustenance of uh, the crops. Or if once we reach like a desert biome, things are gonna get more difficult. Uh, makes berries, beets, and ombu blood into processed food. Wow, so we're actually consuming ombu's blood. Uh, use the issue commands to ombu, which it may or may not follow. Okay, let's go with the kitchen, I guess. And I would love to find out where's the goddamn tech tree or something. So the road is being constructed. I don't know how much away should I build this. Can someone please move that piece of wood away? This is like seriously pissing me off right now. Move it! Oh my god, seriously? You guys are no fun. Maybe if I build it like this... like so I'm not really sure if there's benefit for me to reach the edge right now and I feel like maybe slowing down the game to the basic okay did we gain uh plant do i control where do we plant what or are you just gonna plant it in the vicinity temperature 60 percent growth so we don't have like optimal conditions i feel like at least having the second speed tier would be beneficial let's build another tent here S seriously do i add a plot okay so i do control it This seems like a reasonable field. We're gonna build around it. It's gonna keep our farmers busy. At least for a while, I'm hoping. Uh, theoretically, I can still go and build it over here. This is still within the control zone. Okay. So it seems like it needs to be deselected or something. Weird. I would assume that because it's selected, they would be able to do this. It seems like I'm missing resources. Do I need to also be responsible for acquiring the seeds themselves? It seems like we're running a little low on stone. And uh, one more material storage might be able to squeeze in here. Show research tree. Okay, so kitchen, cactus plantation, learn how to grow cacti at your farm. Cacti are an alternative water source in hot climates. Tomato, corn, wheat, windmill, bakery, interesting. A scavenger hut sends out workers to scavenge rare resources and find new villagers. Food stand provides food for villagers in remote areas. Okay. Village doctor heals poison the villagers using herbs. A warehouse stores various materials. A hot housing for up to six villagers improved, improves productivity of inhabitants and offers decent protection from poisonous air. Decontamination fights the spread of toxin plants using biogas or onbu bile as fuel. A stone road, a cottage, a comfortable housing for up to four people, a scout tower. Okay. Wow. Uh, dunk collector. Dunk collector collects dunk from ombu, which can be used to produce biogas and fertilizer. Okay. And then there's ombu, so the home, home, horn blower, sorry. Ombu doctor allows to send out workers to cure ombu of poison or heal it. 
a sleep command, an ombu kitchen makes mushrooms into ombu food, ombu feeding trebuchet, holy crap, ombu food liquid fire injector, ombu feeding pump, wow. Okay, this thing is awesome. So it seems like the water will be primarily used for obtaining or maintaining our crops. So I don't know if I overextended the water production as it is. Or if I should build like a few more water wells in here. Probably would not hurt. I mean, this is still within the control region of the farm itself, but... All things considered, I think the beets which we are growing right now are gonna do the trick. Uh, we can put down more people to do this and... We can put down like three more air bells. Uh, not sh uh, sure how okay it's going to be for them to produce these resources right now. And with that said, I will probably put down another water tank just for the hell of it. And we should really start looking into how the hell to mine this stuff. Or why is all this not collected? Seriously, need to learn the control for mass harvest or something. This is driving me nuts. Ombu is still seems to be traveling through like the same region. Uh, you encounter a small group of nomads looking for a new home. Will you let them join? Let's pick them up. Plus two people. Okay. Let's take a look at the map. Uh, so it seems like there's going to be crossroads. And depending on where we will travel... It's gonna allow us to do mine, no party available. Settlement, no party available. Crossroads, build a horn blower to guide Onbu on the right path. So we're seriously gonna have to research uh, the horn blower after we are done with the initial research. Uh, okay, so I wanna do the horn blower thingy. Crap, I'm gonna need actually to create planks in order to do so. So we will require the carpenter's workshop to be able to commit to such a uh, task. So that can be done. Now obviously I have no idea if I'm doing the blueprints correctly or if there's like an optimal city layout. I'm playing this for the first time ever, but so far, I'm kind of having fun. Uh, what I forgot to build is the goddamn, what you call it, herbalist. Because I have no freaking idea of like when uh, shit is gonna hit the fan, so it would be probably uh, best to have this before we start running into those poisonous spores. Uh, plant and harvest mushrooms, uh, okay, that's the mycologist. Where's the herbalist? Carpenter, stone cutter, mycologist. I feel like maybe building him here would be a little bit more beneficial. Due to the fact that we don't see that many mushrooms spawning in here. And also not that much stone is in this region. So let's build this sucker over here. I extended the dirt road. And let's see how this is going to work out for us. Uh, a carpenter. Let's put down like two people up to this. We have zero idle villagers, which is great. We have uh, our berries are not uh, holding steady. It doesn't seem like we can plant additional berry bushes, so it really depends on what uh, RNG Jesus situation we get our hands on. But, like, there are plenty of more locations where we might be able to uh, put our villagers to work at. 
Yeah, I do wonder if they can take the water directly from the air wells. It seems like they can actually do just that and directly water the crops. But the strange thing is, I don't think they will be able to process all these crops or something. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. It seems like the farm has certain limitations. Employ at least two workers as carriers in your worker post. So we have that. This is the worker's post. So why is it not cooperating? That, that's weird. It should. It should accommodate for this. And why is the road not being constructed either? So we're going to have to again set up the fields. Let's see, maybe this will do the trick? Hold on. Should probably keep this open in case I would want to extend the road and make it uh, go all the way over here. And are you making those damn planks? It's taking a little longer than I expected, but okay. Uh, we do have four wooden planks. So, question is, uh, research tree is... Okay, so research is being conducted. I don't know if it means that it needs to reach like a certain amount of uh, produce or resources before they are able to be harvested. Uh, employ at least two workers, carriers. We have absolutely zero wood. So let's unemploy these guys and hope that they will, I don't know. What if I disable the building? I seriously don't understand the... Why is it not working? Maybe I need to deconstruct the structure and then... See if we can rebuild it and it will work afterwards. Uh, at the end of the day, the game is still in early access, so there can be flaws and issues. Or maybe I'm just not understanding it correctly. Ah, oh, fudge, I kind of missed this. You can even put, like, on these large things. Ooh, Ombu feeding spot. That seems interesting. Ruined settlement. A settlement. So we're reaching some sort of different biome, I'm assuming. This is traveled. We have already gone over 55 kilometers. Four, five, six, huh? Okay, so key shortcuts are actually there. So let's see if we can build this sucker again. The worker post. Okay, so that seems like the different biome. Uh, Ombu sleepiness, 80%. Ombu hunger, 28. Ombu poison level, so far is the lowest. Thank God. So it seems like this is going to be some sort of mushroom region. Maybe Ombu will go to sleep soon. So I do wonder if at the time when Ombu is sleeping... We are meant to go and, like, travel to these locations. Build a scavenger hut. We're gonna need the scavenger hut. I do wonder if these feeding spots are gonna be uh, common along our journey, or if it's gonna be seriously responsible, or our responsibility to keep providing food for Ambu himself. That is a good question. Still have a crap ton of resources marked. Zombo sleepy? Okay, Zombo went to sleep. 
Now, I do wonder what would happen if you have a party out and Ombu decides to wake the hell up and just keep moving. Can you theoretically lose the people who were in that scouting party that you send out to, let's say, research or harvest resources? That's a good question, though. And I also do wonder how do you get additional population? Uh, scavenger's hut. Yes. The dunk collector and... Yeah, let's go with the scavenger's hut, but the problem is we also need the uh, a stone cutter. But we don't have the necessary stone. We're gonna have to harvest the stone. I do wonder for how many days will Ombu be sleeping. Is he gonna have to reach like 0% or what's the deal here? Only three people are capable of taking care of the mushrooms. Five people are able to taking care of the crops, but they're only using like a small portion out of the, the space. I don't understand why. Why won't you go into... I don't know. What happens if we select this? Or what if we just select or deselect the harvesting? Well, then they just switch to purely setting up a massive field of beets. Because it seems like the decomposition is a factor in this game, so we do have to manage uh, the freshness of the food that we do deal with. Uh, water, we are well set up. Uh, what seems to be a pickle? I'm sure we will eventually manage somehow. Just hoping that they are gonna go crazy and literally plant more of these crops. Because we do have this massive, massive field. Wait, why is this thing showing... Oh, maybe it's full? Yeah, that's why. So humidity seems to be high. Maybe it's because we are in the mushroom region. And mushrooms do require two things. They do require high humidity and heat in order to grow and multiply. So this is literally giving us the boost that we required. Um, seriously thinking that we will deselect harvest. So they grow more of these crops and then we're gonna let them try to manage this larger field. I, I mean, come on, it's five of you guys uh, and ladies. So you should be able to deal with this. A stone cutter can be placed over here. So that we have the more advanced tasks like grouped up together or something. And still it's uh, not doing anything. It's, it's still not letting me like finish the worker post quest. I, I don't understand why. I don't know at what point are the crops unconsumable once they like reach a certain uh, decomposition stage. Like, is it at 50%? Is it at 40%? Is it, uh, you know what I'm trying to say. So far, we're trying to keep everything nicely grouped up. We have 18 villagers. It doesn't seem like we are getting kids or elders right now. I'm not sure if I can like click on a villager and see their personal stats. Uh, okay. So trying to make them uh, like fill in the entire fields if possible. Not sure if that's gonna have negative effect on the status of some of these crops. 
but none of them have gone over like 40% of the decomposition as of now. Food wise we're not doing that great but I'm quite sure that once we switch off the harvesting option we're just gonna have a crap ton of beets to work with. Uh, it seems like we have only access to this one type of stuff right now. How many more? One, two, three, huh? I just want them to finish and we can start harvesting. Now we're gonna get a crap ton of food. Bamboo. Horn blower. Okay, so I need to build it somewhere over here, close enough to the head of the creature. Theoretically, we would be able to build the berry collector here. 45, 36, that's horrible. 40, 31. Seriously, you cannot tell me that there's only like, one decent deposit of berries on this map. Uh, village doctor. Still aren't uh, gathering the plants, but let's go with the cacti. Berry gatherer, 36. 54 if we were to build it here. But then the problem is I kind of don't have the capability to literally get towards this structure. Forty-nine, fifty-four. If I would harvest theoretically this bush. Seems like Ombu has woken up. She's so gonna reach one of the feeding grounds. A shrine, a ruined settlement, a forest. So we're traveling through this region. I don't know if that means that we will be uh, now able to be exposed theoretically to the uh, dangers. 49, 45. How is this? I'm so confused. Thirty-six, forty-five, forty-five, forty-nine. Scarlet, let's make sure that we have access to more berries. Uh theoretically we can relocate the horn. Somewhere? Someone take the resources back, please. I need to build this damn thing somehow in here. I think Ambu is eating right now. Is, is that right or no? I just thought I saw a crap ton of mushrooms. We can go with corn. Let's have some crop variety, I guess. I'm not really sure if we're gonna be able to turn it into uh, corn fructose syrup or something. I, I'm not sure if I'm trying to kill these people already, but I'm um, quite sure eventually I'm gonna get there. <laughs> 
Uh, 12 mushrooms, 214 water, 8 stone slabs, 0 stone. That's not good. So just marking all the stone for the harvest. And hoping that someone will actually, like, you know, do something about it. We don't know how many uh, of these tasks can be selected for higher priority. But we do need stone, because we have absolutely zero stone. Okay, now we can start, I guess, harvesting also the uh, thingies. Quite a lot of beets are actually growing. I would really need uh, a larger quantity of people. But I don't know how that will affect our feeding, or... You see? There's the thing. There's that kitchen. Uh, a wooden plank and a slab. Probably building it over here would be the best thing for me right now. Don't seem to have anything for decoration purpose. missing the planks some additional resources i might remove a person from here and uh, like have two and two people just to see what's uh, gonna happen if we actually do something like that the pantry tree can hold quite the substantial amount of produce i think i will build like a second pantry over here because there's the dirt as it is. I just need to get rid of this bush. Okay, I, I heard some weird noises, so I wasn't sure what's going on. Did it eat? Okay, so that might have been the weird noise, I guess. Okay, what is this? A poisoned nomads. I don't think I want to interact with the poisoned nomads. So the sooner we have that horn, the better. Uh, requires one knowledge to research. I don't know how to acquire that. A dung collector collects dung from ombu, which can be used to produce biogas and fertilizer. Ombu doctor. Food stand provides food for villagers in remote areas. Village doctor, a warehouse, a hut. Probably getting the hut would be beneficial. We can try to do wheat. Seriously need to get the horn blower. I don't know how many workers I have already distributed where. It seems like we have only 18 people due to our housing limitation. I don't know if building additional tents would actually manage to fix the situation. So let's see. I want to build that uh, t -t 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 a pantry. Not enough resources available. Have we gathered all the stone? No. So then why are you telling me we don't have enough resources when I have clearly highlighted a crap ton of stuff to be gathered? Seriously, are gonna have to research how to mine these large deposits. But I'm kind of glad that these guys were actually able to fully utilize the field. Do, do you seem to have water in the storage? It's probably also because the water storage is full. I would need to build like another water tank. Our wood reserves are always killing me. I don't know if it's because of my rapid expansion.
A normal climate of humidity is high. No air toxicity. Am I able to give him commands? It seems like I don't have the people. Okay, so I'm giving you a command to keep on walking, but it feels like Ombu is gonna go his own way. Poison Nomads are in either direction, so it's not like I'm gonna achieve any sort of victory here. The thing is, I seriously think I will be forced to do... To, to, Get the medicinal thingy established. It will seriously require more people. Problem is, I don't know if it's seriously the housing that's affecting us. Let's see, we will try to mark these trees for high priority so that we have access to the resource. Because we do have slabs and wooden planks. We do have a crap ton of beets, so I'm not that afraid about food. And I don't want to remove people from actually uh, producing food. Although I'm kind of now wondering if maybe... Uh, growing some additional crops would be beneficial since we have unlocked the wheat and the other nonsense. Or have we? So we're still producing wheat or we're still working on that. But we should theoretically switch a portion of the uh, production to maybe the corn. I believe I did set up some of these to be higher priority, right? Question is if we do have the carriers to actually haul the stuff away. And I will of course hope that the huts do occupy the same amount of space as these initial tents. Though it's hard to tell. We certainly do require more people. Herbalist, that's what we do require. I feel like this is gonna be another production of crops or something. So, don't know how much of a space will I require for the herbs. Because we have not yet had the uh, encounters with uh, some sort of poisonous conditions or whatnot. If I were to build it like so. Then I would be able to build dirt road over here. Okay, let's try to build the herbalist and utilize this location as the field for it to grow the herbs. Because herbs apparently aren't something which are growing by themselves. These are all selected for higher priority. So we're slowly depleting the resources here. At least the trees are replenishing themselves. I believe the key is maybe leaving these big trees alone. Or maybe leaving few trees somewhere so that the seeds can take root. Okay, well, the problem is we have already passed the crossroads. There's an Anbu sleeping spot, but we don't have control over that. And I don't know where are those poisoned people. 
Uh, healthy people and two poisoned people. So we do need the medication. Okay, that was accidental. Why is this not being constructed? We do have the necessary resources and we now do possess more people. So I would assume being able to construct more housing would be beneficial for us as well. Housing quantity... Uh, okay, we did build that one hut at least, so something has happened. I have to mark a crap ton of trees for harvesting. The southern hemisphere of Ongu seems to be producing quite a lot of trees. And how tired is Ombu? He is at 71%, huh? Seventy-one percent, that's quite high. Efficiency wise. A village doctor. Yeah, let's go for it. Man, nothing comes close to that one outpost or the berry collector which we have established. That's so freaking wicked. Seems like he has found the sleeping spot and he's gonna go night night. There's gonna be a feeding location as well. This one is pissing me off. Don't understand why it's not uh, like being accounted that we have actually done so. So we're making some berry muesli. A beet soup. Let's let's make beet soup. We have a crap ton of beets. Uh, can we hire not uh, enough workers available? Crap. Badly poisoned. Seriously need to do something with that poisoning nonsense too. This pantry is going to be almost full. Especially when it comes to beets. I don't even know where they store like all these beets. Just hope that they're not stored somewhere or they're just wasting away. But I'm seriously like thinking... What if I were to remove these plots? They harvest all this and then we would be able to add the additional plots and put in the corn. A little upsetting that we don't have people naturally reproducing at certain pace. Mambu seems to be up. Seems to have recovered quite fast here. Stone is marked. What is still marked, but we have zero of it, which is not the best thing ever. Maybe I misunderstood something. Stores all kinds of food for villagers. There was that one thing which was able to, like, redistribute food when we went into the tech tree in these far-out uh, locations. A windmill was going to require knowledge. Dunk collector. No, I don't want to be switching. Ombu kitchen makes mushrooms into ombu food. Probably something which we should do considering that we do have a decent amount of it. If you would be so kind as to harvest these things. And I'm gonna switch a portion of this field to be corn.
like this portion over here. Let's uh, mark them for higher priority so that we get rid of these things. And so that we can start replanting the corn, I guess. I don't know if I will need seeds or something. But I just want to see it done. I don't want I want to have variety for the people because uh considering the fact that they're already having to be vegan, uh maybe having access to more veggies than just damn beets would be beneficial for them. I I don't know what to tell you. Lie down, walk, run. I don't know if I need to give him a uh, like okay. Give on blue, go north, go south. Umbu doesn't trust my command. Damn it. Okay. Maybe if we would be able to turn those damn mushrooms into food and feed this damn thing, it would actually start to believe me. 58. 71. For some reason, though, we don't have the meals. Like, is the kitchen empty? I think it's empty. We need more people. I have built way too much stuff. Make sure that we have someone in the goddamn kitchen. Yeah, let's go with the Ombu kitchen. Okay, now we have a worker in the goddamn kitchen. Food wise, we're doing quite well. Considering the fact that we have two berry harvesters. I need to research how the hell to do this. Can be mined for wood by an ancient sawmill. So it seems like some sort of blueprint which we will need to get. Uh, Ombu feeding prebuche. Lab, deep quarry, iron furnace quarry, tree nursery. This would be awesome. The bio extractor, compost heap. Dung collectors, how are the first thing which we will ever need to build, and I have no idea where that even needs to be. I think we are at like a feeding ground. So Ombu is eating. Still, Ombu doesn't trust my command. Awesome. We have a crap ton of road that needs to be constructed. Housing that is not finished. I feel like I need to finish some of these tasks. Otherwise, we're never gonna move forward. And is there like some possibility to set up some maybe limitation? As to at what point or how many planks do I need at what point? Oh, don't, don't get me wrong. It's probably best for me to have this stockpiled. Because once those uh, high-end uh, blueprints come on, uh, it's going to be a little bit more trickier to get stuff done. Can someone please harvest these beads? Thank you. That took way too damn long. Uh... But do I wheat, cactus, corn? Okay. So now they're doing corn. At least I hope they're starting to do corn. Seems to be okay. 0% growth. Well, that sucks. Okay. Uh...
So if it's not gonna grow, then we will have to replace it. It seems like wheat might be actually growing in here. Let's put these two on high priority so that we get rid of them. And let's see if the wheat can be done. just need to plant the first one why did you plant the different things in here or is it that I'm literally switching oh so it's that I I just am able to grow one thing per one farm so it's not like we can mix things and I can have like a specific dedicated field to corn and specific dedicated field to something else well, that sucks So wheat seems to be growing, but it, it's kind of messy that I will require like one farm and one farm for a different crop. I was thinking it would be completely fine to be able to produce multiple crops per one farm. Okay, so Ambu completely ignoring my commands. Thank you so much. Oh wait, so there is a harvest tool. Okay, so I am an idiot. Okay, what happens when these things reach like 100%? Or how big can those trees grow theoretically? That's what I'm interested in. Let's turn off the harvest again and switch to planting so that we get some wheat. B2 polenta. Wow. That thing will require actually beet soup and corn itself. Damn, these are some highly advanced vegan dishes. So far, thankfully, no poison, but uh, I'm quite sure that's gonna eventually change. I would be pl probably playing this on the higher difficulty or the normal difficulty. It would be a little bit different. I cannot seem to acquire people, though, which sucks. Herbs can be planted technically over moi. Dirt Road would need to go like this. I feel like I would have to take away from the farm. I want to go with the dunk collector, though. Not really sure how we're gonna... Or where we're gonna build that damn thing. What I do know is that we do require people. No party avail... Oh, shit. Small poison forest. I don't like that. So we're gonna come across our first problem. And I will require probably that medic. Ombu kitchen. Let's build it closer to the mycologist and to the pantry itself. It's actually shocking that we're not storing the mushrooms over here. Do I need to build, like, a small silo for resources by the mycologist? Yeah, we do actually store the goddamn mushrooms inside of these huts. So let's build it closer so they don't have to travel that far. Okay, they have been able to finish with all of these, so let's start harvesting this. But I'm not really sure what you're gonna be able to do with the beet itself or the wheat itself. It seems like we do require the mill in order to turn the wheat into something edible, like flour and so on and such. And then we require bakery. Maybe I will be able to tell Ambu to run through the goddamn poisonous woods or something. It's gonna be interesting to see our first interaction 
with the deadly region. Have we built the goddamn doctor? Village doctor. Decontaminator. Yeah, we're gonna have to switch it up to decontaminator because, uh... No idea how that's gonna affect us. Uh, a scavenger hut. This thing will need to be, like, by the edge of the ombu. There's still questions as to how does it operate. We do have the resources to build this damn thing. We just don't have the people to uh, accommodate. We would require also someone to start growing the goddamn thingy. And I do wonder if there's a decay on the wheat once you do harvest it. And if you can speed up theoretically the research by having more of the science buildings. So I definitely need the village doctor and so on and such. Because we had 21 people, but because some of them were poisoned, I don't think I was able to cure them. And so they could have theoretically died. Which... Uh, I'm not really sure how does that work or if I need to collect the corpses. I don't see the corpses. Uh, that's the thing. So, not sure. And damn it, the problem is also we have the village doctor like being queued up for construction. The kind of problem which we're running into is in the fact that we do not have any herbs which were planted were harvested as of yet so i kind of went a little crazy there and i really don't want to be dealing with ombu spikes because right now ombu is already somewhat unhappy probably for having all this stuff growing on his back I'm starting to gather wheat But if we don't have the capacity to feed the damn thing. Slightly increased toxicity. Can we tell you to run? I don't I don't think he responded to it, and now we're gonna have the poisonous plants. Problem is, the toxicity is so damn high, I actually don't see all these damn spores. I'm quite sure I'm gonna wanna try to kill all of them. There's like three at least. These things are starting to reproduce, holy shish kebab. So we gotta kill them before they go all bananas and start poisoning on me. I'm trying to see if there were any that got caught in here. I think there is one over there behind those damn trees. Crap, it's poisoning the stuff. It's like literally turning into trees itself. Damn. Interesting. Seriously, have to chop these things down. Like all other priorities are probably not priorities. No party is available. Can we travel to north? Why don't you trust my commands, Anbu? Maybe it's because he's going to sleep. But we seriously got to change the direction in which he's traveling, because this is ridiculous. That would be probably the time to go... Can we now hire people here? Ooh, 
love to get one herbalist. I would love to get one cook. I would love to get some of these people. I would love for you to reproduce somehow. It's kind of weird that it's only nomads who are capable of literally doing... Like, uh adding to your population someone can please for the love of god go and clear out this infection you know what let's put a pause on the What, what are you punching the damn tree? Why can't you use an axe like a normal person? Holy crap, this thing is spreading like crazy. Like, if it's gonna uproot in this high density region, then we're gonna be in serious trouble. Okay, like, I feel like maybe. Disable. We need to literally put on pause all of this nonsense and just focus on decontaminating the damn place. W will that help? Will that do the trick? This is especially uh, devastating. We need to clear it out. And then we can try to redistribute the necessary tasks. Because right now, if this poisonous gunk keeps spreading around and we're getting poison from it too, this is not gonna be good. Especially in these high density regions. Like, we need to clear this shit out. ASAP. I'm kind of surprised this tree actually survived. All this weed is gonna kind of reach a really bad location or a really bad place. I'm seriously afraid I'm gonna lose a crap ton of people now. Because of the stupid poisoning. And if we would go down from 19 even more, that's gonna be really bad. Come on, punch it. Come on, before it spreads to these other bushes. It's like doing it really quickly god damn it come on there's like two more things i think that's like highlighting a person who's badly poisoned yeah We need the goddamn stone slab, but we also need wood. We don't have wood and we need wooden planks. We need person in the kitchen. Person in the science field. At least three of these guys need to be working on the field simultaneously. One here, one here, one here. Uh, have someone at the ombu thingy. And open the map. One day, 15 hours. Fresh food for ombu. Group of nomads. Kind of afraid what's gonna happen 
if I would send the people here. One of only few remaining settlements, it has not yet been swallowed by the poisonous plants. Some villagers might want to join us on Anvu, depending on our villagers' happiness. Hmm, this is really bad. I'm gonna try this forest just for the hell of it. But I'm not really sure how that's gonna affect us. Especially considering the fact that one of the people is highly poisoned. Six days! Ombu. Uh, Ombu doctor, Ombu kitchen, sleeping command. I don't know how to acquire knowledge. A warehouse. Current research. What am I currently researching? I don't know what the hell am I currently researching. A stone road cottage. How do I acquire knowledge? The knowledge you tribe has gathered by exploring this world can be spent to research new tech. Okay. So we'll have to keep sending those uh, guys out there. We will need to probably add in one more person. I'm gonna swap to bead production again because we can directly uh, affect that. We already don't have people for production of this. Okay, so you at least can cook up the damn ombu food. And afterwards, we're going to try to, I don't know, produce more uh, mushrooms. We're going to need to, however, make sure that someone is going to be able to... Mission ongoing. Badly poisoned. Yeah, that's really bad. I'm hoping they're gonna be able to do it over here. I don't know if Ombu's gonna switch direction just because there's food. And uh, soon he's gonna stand up. So I'm really afraid of what's gonna happen to the scavenging party since the creature is gonna be on the move. And at least the road is getting somewhat finished here. We're gonna have to harvest a crap ton of these damn trees. Oh, we can select which tasks we want to do specifically, huh? Nice. I'm gonna put these trees on higher priority because we do require a crap ton of wood. Seems to be the never-ending bottleneck. Seriously, getting more people would be absolutely awesome uh, this is still pissing me off though because we do have like people uh, in here so yeah a little annoying okay we're gonna be reaching another biome I'm assuming again I'm gonna need a person here. We have Ombu food. But I, I seriously don't know if I would need that damn catapult or something in order to feed the damn creature. Ombu, you're making it hard for me. What can I tell you, buddy? So the cook is taking the mushrooms directly from the storage or something, I guess. Water is still holding steadily, so I'm kind of happy about that at least. Herbs are finally being produced, so we'll be able to do some damage in regards to that. And I'm really glad that these massive trees were not affected by the poisonous spores. Although we're going to require a better way of dealing with this. Otherwise, things are going to be bad. 
Send party, send party, send party. I don't really want to send a party there, that's for sure. Go north! Ombu accepts, so Ombu will be able to eat, and then we're gonna come across more nomads. Uh, I'm gonna send party to those stones. Maybe it's gonna help us with our resource uh, situation. Ah, we don't have anyone producing planks, but we also don't have more people. And we had 19 of them, so that's already kind of problematic. We really need to establish that doctor. Oh, it's gonna require a person and more herbs. But yeah, if Ombu's gonna actually make that turn, which it did, we're gonna be able to reach another feeding ground, which is gonna allow Ombu to eat. He's not gonna be hungry, but uh, yeah. So we're still slowly starting to establish the village. I'm still learning how it works and everything. And I, of course, do require additional tips, so if you have previous experience with the game, please let me know in the comment section. And if you want to see more, then let me know by giving the like or subscribing. And for more fun content like this, make sure to uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and check out what the channel is up to. As I publish content uh, semi-steadily lately because a uh, new job and so on and such. So we're going to see how it all works out. But other than that, I'm going to wish you a pleasant rest of the day. And hopefully me and Ombu are going to see you at the next one. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe out there in the meantime. And bye-bye for now.